So, if you've been in the Linux community for, you know, some time, you've probably heard the statement like, Linux is only for tech wizards, or Linux is only for geniuses, which I don't agree with at all, I don't agree with that statement, um, and here's why pretty much. Anyone, you know, who's has the motivation to change from Windows, Mac OS, or any of the sort of other um, alternative uh, operating systems to Linux, anyone with the motivation to switch can. It's literally as simple as, you know, going onto the um, distro's website like linuxmint.org or .com or ubuntu.com and literally just clicking the install button. Um, and then once that's installed, you're really just going to want to flash the operating system to a USB um, and off you go. So I don't really think it's that hard um, to install uh, Art, uh, Linux in general um, if you have the motivation behind it um, to, to, to do so. Um, now with like more, you know, I guess more difficult uh, distributions like Arch Linux and Gentoo, um, it can become a bit more difficult. Like as you've seen here, I've, I am running um, Arch Linux um, with uh, the DWM window manager. Uh, which isn't, you know, totally beginner friendly, I suppose, but it's still very doable if you have the motivation behind it. Um, like, there's so many great resources that you can go onto, like the Arch Wiki. You know, I spent a lot of time looking at this and getting help for what I've wanted to do um, with Arch Linux. Um, yeah, so as long as you have the motivation, I think, like, almost anyone can install uh, Linux on their machine. Now, if you want to go the step further, um, I think it's going to take, you know, a bit more effort. Like, if you want to configure your own window manager and, and uh, like, own terminal and get everything set up exactly how you want, yes, it's going to take, you know, a bit more effort to do so. But it's still totally doable. Um, so, yeah, pretty much anyone can do it. Um, do I think you should do it? Now, you probably should switch to Linux if you're in the area of computer science or some sort of research-heavy um, field. I think it's really good and really worthwhile to make the switch and learn Linux. Um, but it's probably not the greatest if you, you're big on gaming or anything like that. Um, I know, like... I know there's a couple of good indie games that are supported on Linux and one run well on Linux, but if you're playing anything like Call of Duty or like Fortnite, I don't know, like Halo or something, it's probably not the greatest idea currently to switch. I know there's like a bunch of distributions that are, you know, gaming focused, but I don't know if now is the greatest time to make the switch if you're a big gamer, but maybe in the future for sure. So yeah, um... Yeah, I, I really think Linux is for anyone, and if you have the motivation behind uh, switching from Windows on Mac OS to Linux, uh, I'm, I'm sure you certainly can. So, yeah, see you in the next video.